So I just updated the firmware on my EV3 brick and I noticed that it may have solved the uh, gyro drift issue. You can see it's holding pretty steady. So uh, I think I want to give this a few tests, see how it's working. Um, whenever I start using the gyro, I always set it to zero just to make, if I run this now it'll, you may hear it in the background, it resets it to zero. It just makes the numbers easier to figure out in the future. And when I turn, I like to spin in place. So we will turn this on. We'll go at 40 and negative 40, decent speed for uh, turning. And we will just keep spinning in place like that until the gyro sensor has changed an angle and the two means in either direction, in any direction. Let's just say we do a 90 degree turn. And after it does that, I want to make sure I tell it to stop. Otherwise the motor is just kind of slow down and that means you're going to spin a few more degrees. So, uh, yeah, I just spun it. Let's give this, let's give this a look. What are we getting? Hmm. I asked for 90. I'm getting 96. What if I were to ask for 120? Hmm. I'm getting 126 for 120. Let's, what if we spin the other way? Say we want to go 45 degrees left. And 54. Wow, that's nine degrees. So I'm getting between six and nine degrees. Although I haven't seen nine too often. Try it again. All right. So that's seven. So when we say we're we're roughly off by seven. So let's work on a program that can handle that. So that when we just type in the number we want and it works. All right. So we'll start a new program here. Um, call it our turn block and same deal I'll reset the gyro and we're gonna do a little logic because we want to be able to spin left or right with this which means a positive or a negative value so for this case let me start off by saying alright well, I want to spin right to right 90 degrees but I also want this value to work if it's negative and I'm gonna compare that if it's greater than or equal to zero we're going to do one thing, we're going to spin right. If it's less than zero, we're going to spin left. So we're making a logic, so this will either be true or false. So I want to do a switch based on that being true or false. So that's a logic switch, and I will just drag it over here, right? Green line is a logic line. And if it's true, if it's positive, I want to do my uh, tank spin to the right, which means a positive 40 and a negative 40. And if it's false, I want to do my spin to the left, which is a negative 40 first, and then a positive 40 second. All right, we're going to do that. Now, we want to spin until it gets to a certain value. Now, it's positive or negative, so we need to do a little advanced math. We basically, we want to absolute value that and then subtract 6, right, because it's over spinning. So we're going to do an advanced equation. So this number here will be our angle. Um, it kind of stinks right now. We have to type it in twice in each block. And we're going to want to subtract 6. All right. Um, but we got to get that absolute value. There's an absolute in here somewhere. Absolute. There we go. Oop, clicked it twice. So we want the absolute value of A minus B. So 90 minus 6 would be 84, but negative 90 minus 6. The absolute value of negative 90 is 90 minus 6, also 84. All right, we're going to take that and we'll plug that into the spin until the gyros turned has had a change of angle of what we come up with here. All right, and this 2 again is in either direction. That's important because this could be going left or right. And once again, we'll want to stop it when it's done. All right, so let's just give this a quick test. Give it a run, see what we get for a number down here. All right, we got 90, nice. So let's turn this into a my block so we can use it any time. You know, turning a certain amount of degrees is a pretty common thing to do. So I highlighted all the pieces here, except the play. You can't have a play as part of a my block. And we're gonna make a my block builder. All right, I'm just gonna call it turn. I'll use the steering wheel icon. It doesn't really matter which icon you pick. We're going to pass in one variable, right? That's going to be the number of degrees we turn. All right. 
and we'll hit finish. All right, so what the, whatever number we type in here, we're going to drag two places. We want it here, and we want it here. All right, so this is our my block. Okay, it's called. You can see they call it turn. So let's go back to the turn block. You can see it's substituted everything into this one my block. So let's say I type in 50 degrees here to the right, a positive 50. So that should be a turn to the right. All right, 51, not too bad. Oop, I double clicked it so it opened. Hold on. Let's see if we want to turn left 90 degrees. Perfect. If we go want to go back 120 degrees to the right. Under 20, exactly what I want. And you can see anytime I want to use it now, it's down here in my block, and I can just put, drag it and bring it right up into the program. That should work really nicely.